Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So we are jumping full force into fall. This is one of my favorite videos to make all year long. I love decorating my porch just in time for fall and it is filled with all of the gardening DIYs and fun stuff that I love so much. It's gonna be a fun video, so you're gonna wanna stick around. And if you haven't signed up for my email list yet, you can head to valerie-aguire.com slash join and enter your name and email and keep up on all of the exciting things we have in the works. So I started my fall porch decorating at Lowe's or the nursery. I love going to the nursery, especially first thing in the morning. It is so much joy for me. I just love being around all the plants. I love looking at what they have seasonally. So when picking plants, I will usually start out with one or two that I really like and kind of map out a color scheme from there. And I'll just walk the aisles and pick out anything that kind of pops out that I like. I like to try them out in my cart and kind of bunch them all together and just see what works. If something's too bright, I just play around with the plants in my cart. Mums are so popular around the fall. I personally have the hardest time keeping a lot of water on the mums, so I tend to pass on these. I like things that I know will last me through fall and winter and I can get longer life out of them, enjoy my porch and save some money while doing that. I am always a sucker for a pumpkin patch though. I cannot resist a pumpkin patch story on my Instagram. <laughs> While I was out and about, I also picked up this plain doormat. I think they're about $10 at Target. So I put together a really quick design in Cricut Design Space using my Cricut Maker. I will link the design in case you wanna make this one also, but just super simple, kind of stenciling on some Halloween shapes I cut out on the Cricut Maker. This is using the Smart Sticker cardstock. So I just cut out my shapes and then I'm cutting them around with a pair of scissors and peeling off that little sticker, making a stencil-like design. So I wanted to do kind of a Hocus Pocus theme. We are so excited for Hocus Pocus 2 that is coming out in October. I loved the idea of the kitty on there. And then I also did a witch's broom and then a witch's hat, just a very minimal Halloween doormat, which is what I love. You guys know my style, very simple and minimal, but it gets a message across. All of the little lines in the broom were kind of a miss, um, but I love actually how the texture kind of looks on the bottom of the broom. So that one turned out really neat. And yeah, I just sponge painted on um, some craft paint on here and then I also went over it again after I took the stencils off with kind of a little paintbrush just to fill in some of those marks and make sure that it was a lot darker. So I love that little kitty on there. Binks, we also have a black kitty named Binks, so it fits perfectly. I also like to go over the craft paint with some clear matte spray paint. You don't have to do this. I just feel like it prolongs the images from weather and being stepped on. I also stopped at Hobby Lobby. You can probably find me in the dried floral section there at least once a week. So I wanted to look at their pampas grass. They have a really fluffy one and those are $19.99. And then they have this huge long one for $29.99. They're all 50% off, so I grabbed the bigger one and I'm gonna take it apart and make a $15 wreath. I also grabbed some floral wire. This little one from Hobby Lobby has the cutter on it and it is so nice to use. So what I do with these really large stalks of pampas grass is I just take a bunch of the grass and kind of peel it back from the stalk and try to get a little bit of the stem on there so that I can bunch them together. So I'll usually do this about two or three times and then make one bunch out of all of that, if that makes sense. You can make your bunches as thick as you want or as thin as you want. This one was a little bit on the thinner side, but just to give you an idea, I wrap the little bunch with floral wire, kind of tuck it around, and then that is ready to go on the wreath. So to save time, I feel like it saves time, I like to go um, and just make all of my little bunches at the same time, and then I can put them all on the wreath at the same time. So, so I just layer the 
little bunches on there, kind of stagger them on the inside and on the outside and just fit them in. And then I wrap the wire around and secure it. So this pampas grass is a little bit more kind of wispy, a little swampy like, so it can get really long. So I just went and gave it a haircut um, when it was all done. I also tied a brown ribbon. I kind of curled the edges a little bit and just wrapped it around really loose. I didn't do a bow, I just kind of let it hang. So this was the status of my last year's fall porch, which it actually hung on almost all year round. And then once summer got here and it was like July, we had some record breaking heat. We had 110, 111, 114 for probably a week straight and it just completely butchered my plants. I loved this rug so much, but it is just done for a year outside. I could try and give it a wash. It might help, so I might try and salvage that, but definitely need the new plants. They just couldn't hang in the California heat wave. Every time I do a porch refresh, I always like to either wash it off with a power washer, a hose. I love using my heart blower. It's so easy to use. It's battery powered, so I just pick it up and go. This is my favorite tool to use outside. So I'm gonna be using the same planters as in last year's fall video. I just love these so much. They still look vintage. I did a little DIY with this one last year. I can link the video below. So yeah, I just play around with the plants and play around with the placement. Always use the thriller, filler, spiller method. So these are the plants that I used in case you're interested. So the thriller is that really hall red one that goes in the back. The filler is these green and red really leafy ones in lots of pretty colors. And then our spiller is going to be that little button fern. It is so cute. I love the little leaves on that one. When placing the plants, I always tend to really kind of push them in and bunch them in together. They always do really well. They like it, so don't worry about putting too much. I feel like it always works out really well and they thrive being really close together. You can see our black kitty in the background. His name is Binks. He came to us a couple months ago, and so we took him in and he has just made himself right at home, but he is the funniest vocal little guy around, but he is super cute and just a part of our family now. We really love him. I picked up the Studio McGee rug from Target. It was about 20 bucks. I love the texture underneath our doormat, but also that it is green and white because I can also carry this into the winter as well. So it's kind of a dual purpose, which I really like. I'm adding my DIY doormat right on top. And what is any fall porch without a pumpkin or two? I took my little guy to the pumpkin patch and we had so much fun there. He was in the hay maze. This is one of my favorite pumpkin patches because they have the prettiest display of pumpkins. I love all of the fairy tale pumpkins and all the colors. I picked out a lot of white and green. I brought them home and I like to clean them with like a Clorox wipe. They say it prolongs them when you clean them. I'm not really sure, but we usually get a really good amount of time with our pumpkins. I'm just going to kind of set these in various spots and kind of stagger them. I got the taller one up in the back, some at different angles and on top so it looks a little kind of pumpkin patchy. <laughs> Once I got my wreath outside, it was still really large. This would be a really great wreath for a huge large door, but my door is not that large. It's pretty much a standard size door, so I'm gonna cut it down a little bit more so that it kind of fits our space. And just a warning, these do shed like little tiny seeds quite a bit. They say if you hairspray them, it helps with that. So this is the completed porch. I love all of these colors, such a pretty color scheme this year, very similar to last year, lots of greens and purples, and even some warm colors in some of those pumpkins. The doormat's warm color and jute type texture ties perfectly in with our wreath. I really love the feeling of natural elements, things like plants and pumpkins and jute and cotton. Those are all very natural type elements. The wreath on the door, nothing is very synthetic, which makes it feel really organic and natural. So that is one of my favorite things about a porch like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got a little bit of fall inspiration. Thank you guys so much for being here. 
wishing you a very happy fall season and don't forget to say hi in the comments below. We always love hearing from you guys. And with that, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.